Okay, I think we'll get started. It's afternoon and um, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to our BH Connect project and community uh, event today. And we're excited to get started with uh, this short overview. And then also we'll have some time for discussion and we'll get right into it here. So is, let me know if the PowerPoint is not presenting correctly, please. We can see it. Perfect. Uh, first, we'll introduce our team. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, we have uh, all of our BH Connect team, which includes uh, Mona Matthews is our project manager. Uh, Corey is our data analyst with Katie uh, working on marketing and communications. And our project specialists are Lori, Courtney, Penny, uh, myself, Brent Amble, and then Hannah. So excited to get this project rolling with everybody involved. Uh, objectives to, for today, uh, we're gonna overview the BH Connect project. Some of you have already had uh, information on the project, uh, but we're gonna go over quickly kind of that high level overview uh, look at available resources, which will kind of dive, dive a little bit deeper into how your organization can benefit from those resources and access them. And then uh, really the exciting part of the project that we're launching is the uh, BH Connect community platform. And Courtney's prepared a, a, a great presentation on that for you. And then we'll end with time for questions and discussion and time for comments and um, what the next steps are. So to start with, uh, we've got both words and pictures here on the screen. So however uh, works for you to, to kind of relate, but the goal of the BH Connect project is uh, assisting Wisconsin Medicaid enrolled BH providers and organizations um, and with our tagline to implement, optimize and improve care through the use of health information technology. So it's a pretty big bucket um, that we've kind of put into smaller buckets. Um, so using our online community platform, we really look at that as a uh, really a, a one-stop shop. And from there, we can use the different opportunities and resources to really meet you where your organization uh, needs the most assistance, what your goals are, priorities and just really uh, look at how we can help you and assist you uh, with the HIT uh, journey. So just a little bit of background as far as uh, our technical assistance, how we can assist with you. And um, as we as we kind of move forward with that assistance, um, also want to outline kind of the responsibilities and and our roles. So looking at the role there, facilitate improvements related to health IT. So this may be related to what you currently have, what you're looking at in the future, or how you really want to optimize that health IT. With the assistance, uh, as we'll kind of outline in, in future slides here, um, looking at what you currently have as a solution. And as you move forward, maybe you're looking at something different. We can also be a, of assistance with that. And specifically, um, a security risk assessment is uh, a tool uh, that will give a little bit more uh, information on as we uh, proceed through the slides again. So a couple of things of what Metastar is not going to be doing with uh, this project is we're not an auditor. Uh, we're not going to be reporting any findings that we uh, may work with you on the SRA, but we're not going to report that to anybody. Uh, those results are, are owned by your company or organization. Um, and then we're not going to require any action. We'll make recommendations, maybe look at opportunities, how we can help to assist you, uh, but you're really responsible for that information and what you do to proceed uh, forward. Um, and then just to reiterate, uh, we're not gonna report any risks that may be identified uh, through the SRA or 
through the needs assessment. So again, looking at the, the different benefits that how we can uh, assist your organization is uh, through that health IT, uh, looking at new solutions, implementing those be a, a resource to uh, provide timelines or planning uh, purposes. Also with the security, uh, security risk assessment, uh, helping your organization to be within, you know, with compliance or privacy and security uh, insurance for that. Uh, optimizing electronic health information to increase efficiency and satisfaction. So whether you have a, an electronic component at this point or looking forward in the future, uh, really looking at your workflow at your organization and that having an analysis of that, looking at a needs assessment, we can really narrow down of what the priorities, goals, needs of your organization are and help develop a, a game plan or a work plan uh, moving forward. And again, with quality measures, uh, we all know that with electronic health records or, or electronic uh, means of recording that a lot of data can be extracted or we can take what you have at your disposal to work with your organization to move forward and uh, develop different outcomes or benchmarks uh, depending upon what your organization is looking at. To kind of review and, and, and hopefully uh, you all are aware of this, but these services are funded by the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, so there is no cost to the behavioral health organization. So a couple of the different components that were outlined, um, how BH Connect can assist your organization. One is through that one-on-one -on -one support, uh, meeting your organization where you uh, have identified different priorities and goals. This can be done through a health IT needs assessment. This is a uh, essentially a survey that can be taken by your organization, completed by one or multiple individuals. And then based on those uh, results, the organization will um, receive feedback um, in a organized fashion that can be worked or that can be utilized to uh, develop that work plan or game plan uh, moving forward. What this can look like is is really up to the organization. We could meet you um, essentially in person, uh, could be virtual or a combination of, of both of those in a hybrid fashion. With the uh, frequency portion, it really depends on uh, the needs of the organization. Could be uh, monthly, could be a couple times a month, uh, really dependent upon what uh, is identified as the best, uh, best practice. As far as the, the BH Connect project itself, um, it has been going on since this past summer and it's funded through at least uh, June of 2026. The, the unique portion of this project is it, it's not linear. So it's, it's not us start at point A and we're going to B, C, D and going to an end. It's really your organization can jump in at any point, identify what can be of um, what your need is, we can address that and then maybe there'll be a, a time lapse and then we could jump right back into another uh, portion of the needs assessment. But it's really meeting you where uh, you need the most assistance or uh, resources at that time. A little bit more about the SRA, which I've mentioned a couple times already. SRA is a security risk assessment and it really comes out of the uh, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, otherwise known as HIPAA. And it really looks at how that electronic um, health information, protected health information is handled by your organization and ensuring that it is uh, being kept safe. So why complete an SRA? Really, the compliance with this is important, uh, not only to protect your patients, uh, but also with the admit the HIPAA's 
uh, administrative, physical, and technical safeguards that have been developed, um, it's really staying within compliance of that. And with that SRA, uh, we really want to look ahead and identify any potential threats or vulnerabilities that um, could affect your uh, electronic protected health information. And it really looks at, um, as was mentioned up above there, uh, both administrative and physical, along with the technical safeguards um, in place. The next step with that SRA is not only identifying uh, what those um, risk may be, but then also de developing a plan moving forward that your organization can use as a as a template to uh, reduce those risks um, in a you know whether it's policies or procedures or um, education uh, for your staff. Uh, the one important note here, if you have um, other experience with Metastar, uh, there is, we do have an external quality review department, and that um, is totally separate of this project um, as we are uh, with the healthcare transformation department. And again, we're not going to be reporting any of those risks or um, there's not a uh, formal audit with this at all. So with that, I'm going to hand it off to Courtney, and she's going to uh, talk about the real fun part of this. Yeah, so the community resources available on our platform will include presentations, podcasts, one pagers and links to specific relevant topic information. Um, these topics will include electronic health record selection, implementation, quality improvement and interrupt interoperability. Um, in addition, we'll provide live and on-demand educational events that cover these topics as well as subtopics of specific HIT areas that we're providing assistance and education on. Um, we do want to stress that a large component to this platform um, is the opportunity to participate in peer-to-peer -peer collaboration. Our experiences um, in, in, in any behavioral health department are not only educational for ourselves, but also serve as an invaluable lesson for others. So utilizing the opportunity of peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, we hope that organizations are able to connect on relevant topics, gather additional information from each other. Um, just an example of that would be if an organization had a data breach, how did you handle that data breach? What safeguards have you put in place since that incident? Things like that might be important, uh, an important conversation that saves other organizations from experiencing something similar to that. Do you want to go to the next slide? So this is our BH Connect community. Some of you uh, may already be a part of that. As you can see that first screen on the left, that is what a logged out screen on the community looks like. And then the picture on the right is what it will look like logged in. So if you are ever up in like the tools or you try to access, <clears throat> excuse me, the res or the resources page and your homepage looks like the one on the left and you're like, why can't I see anything? Um, it means you're not logged in. So when you are logged in, you will never view that page that you see on the left um, unless you are logged out. Next slide. So we are going to go into a, just a brief overview into the page, um, just navigating the communities, how to post things, um, where to find events. Obviously, you guys have found events, but, you know, say that you want to promote an event to, uh, you know, social workers, providers, people in your behavioral health departments. Um, we'll just cover that here. So welcome to the Behavioral Health Connect community. Um, I'm just going to give you a guided walkthrough of our feed, um, looking at the communities, joining communities, and how to add contacts. So for those of you who are currently in this presentation, you have figured out how to register for an event. If you ever have a employee in your department or your county and you want them to be a part of an event as well, but they don't want to sign up for the platform, um, they can always go through here and click events on that main screen page and RSVP. That will be available for events that are made public. There will be events that are only specific to people who are on the platform. 
So if they would like to join those, we always recommend just signing up for the platform as this will be helpful for essentially all behavioral health um, employees in some sort of range. So logging in, I'm just gonna log in. So this is the main feed page that you are met with upon logging into the website. Up here, you will find our getting started, security risk assessment, request services and resources. Getting started in this tab, you will find our initial presentation and graphic detailing our project goals, timelines and specifics of services. If wanting a refresher or if you are new to the project, in our security risk assessment tab, this will provide a quick glance into what a security risk assessment is. Um, requesting services, if you know what type of service you would like for us to provide to you, have additional questions, or if there is um, even any technical questions to do with the platform, you can always click this contact us button. This will come up with a fillable form where you can input a message and this will be sent off to our um, BH Connect email, and from there it will be sent to your assigned region project specialist. So you can expect for them to get back in touch with you within one day of your request. Going back to that page, this is where our main resource library is, and there you will find presentations, trainings, toolkits, podcasts, and any educational materials that we upload. You can also um, view this page from the drop down in the tools as well, right here. When going through this top um, toolbar, you will see that we have our different tools as well as our different services listed out. Each of those will just bring you into a page that gives you a better understanding as to what it is that we are providing. And then again, if you would like to just directly contact us and get something started, you can feel free to click that button and it will again come up with that fillable form. So back to this main feed page, um, these posts are all derived from communities that you are a part of. So upon filling out your profile, you are asked questions about your interests. And from there, you are directed into different communities based off of those interests. This does not mean you can only stay within those communities. If you have any other interests in different communities and wanting to learn different things, you can always request to join them, which I'll show you in a moment. So from this main Main feed page, you can create a post. From here, it will come up to a thread as well as you are able to post a new message if you'd like to create a new thread. So going into this thread, you will see that you have the option to respond to others. You can just click reply and it will come up like this and then you would click post. Kind of similar to how discussion boards are if you are um, familiar with how LMSs work. Going into communities, you can click this communities drop down. You can either go to my communities or all communities. And from here, you'll see that there's only two listed. So these are the communities to which I belong in. You can also click this drop down and view all communities and see what is available. From here, different communities will um, have a request to join tab. This tab will show up right under this members box um, and it'll be the similar color to this create button. So it will say request to join and upon clicking that button, it will just prompt you to fill out a small text box as to why you would like to request that community uh, to join that community that will be sent to our admins who will then um, accept your request and then you will be part of that community. So when going inside of a community, you will see that there's the community homepage, discussion, library, events, members, and blogs. Um, the library is gonna be different from the main library somewhat. Um, so this library will be specific to the topic inside of that community. So for example, if you're inside of an EHR, um, community, that library will be filled with EHR resources. You can also find those in the main library um, 
but if you're looking specifically to everything that's relevant to that topic, you will find it inside of that community library. From here, you are able to view the members. You scroll down and then you can see that you're able to send a message <clears throat> or add contacts to those members. Um, if you go to somebody's main page, you can see their job title role, um, a little bio about them if they've made it viewable for others. And from here, you are also able to add a contact or send a message. So if you are ever looking to search a post, find a resource, um, look for something that you saw on your feed, it could be weeks ago or months ago, and you're wanting to find everything relevant to that, you can utilize this search bar. So this search bar, um, you can type in either hashtags or just simply words, keywords that would pull you into certain resources. So for example, if I wanted to find something to do with EHRs, I could just type in EHR and that will pull up everything on the platform that's ever been posted, library entries, web pages, links, threads that have the EHR, um, as you can see, bolded, that it would identify inside of different posts or topics. So if you're looking for everything related to something, um, that would be a good way to search it, as well as you can always use our um, resource library. If you're ever having any issues with logging in um, or even just general questions about the communities, the page, if you are logged in already, you can utilize this help page quick link. This will bring you to a list of generalized questions that have to do with the community, contacts, connections, how to find things inside of the library and their answers. If you are logged out and looking for assistance in getting in, you can go from the main screen page and scroll down and you will find that the, there is an FAQ right here. If you find that an FAQ does not assist you whatsoever in logging in, you're still having issues, you can always click this contact us button under the engage. And that will bring you to this page. Did it, did it pause by chance, Brent? I was like Brent might be frozen. Or he has not blinked for a little while. Yeah, I think he might be frozen. <laughs> <laughs> and I am not in control of the slide, but the show must go on. Um, so yeah, that's just, it just pulls up another pre-fillable form right there. Um, and that will send off just similar to how it would inside of the platform. Um, and then it would again be directed to either just BH Connect and we'd get back to you from the BH Connect if it's just like a quick technical question. Otherwise, if it's specific in a region and we're assisting you, then it will be directed to your assigned behavioral health connect project specialist. Um, and then the slide he had following this was just going to be next steps. So if you, if for those of you who are on here, if you are directors or even behavioral health, um, oh, there it goes. So yeah, you can share this information with other people in your organization. This does not have to be specific to managers or directors. You could send this out to your social workers, your case managers. Um, we will be posting, you know, relevant information, like we said, for all. Um, so there will be stuff that does have to do, you know, with mental health, with policies, with new rulings. Um, so it really will be a helpful place for any type of behavioral health, um, specialist. Um, we do recommend as well, if you're going to contact us to complete health IT needs assessments or start an SRA, um, as well as one-on-one -on -one support. Um, it doesn't have to be in that initial meeting, but if you could come with the information and preparedness of if anybody else on your team needs to be talking with us. So if you have an IT department and you're looking at getting an EHR started, even if they can't be in that initial meeting, try to touch base with them after and have them as a contact as well, because for some specific services that will be important to have them on board with us, because they may have the answers to questions that you might not have. We do next slide.
And then, yeah, just opening up the floor for any questions that anybody on might have. And feel free to come off mute or put them in the chat. Just had a couple of other things. I'm not sure what happened with my um, my screens went black. So, um, and I'm not sure. Maybe Courtney did mention about uh, we do have a mobile app that will be launching uh, coming up, so you can look for that. And then also there is a poll that is now up and running on the community platform. That it would be great if you could go on there and. Uh, take that poll and give us some feedback as far as future events. And then that's all for our presentation. So if you don't have any questions, you can feel free to log off and thank you for joining us. And if you do have any questions, you can feel free to stay on. We'll stay on for a few minutes in case anything comes up. Courtney, this is Lori, and I just wanted to sort of mention to some of you who may have worked with us in the past, you know, this is very similar work, and you can really reach out to us with any question um, that you have related to health IT, and we're really focused on, I know a lot of uh, people have asked me about, well, do you recommend certain vendors and things like that, and we are very vendor neutral. So if you're looking to switch EHRs and things like that, what we can do is help you to sort of form your own internal team, or maybe if you've already done that, put you in contact with others around the state that are using um, the same EHR or maybe used to use the same EHR and, and things like that. So that convening portion is something that's really, really helpful, um, as well as um, you know, we do get a lot of questions about SRAs as well, doing a security risk assessment and if it's really necessary, if you don't have an EHR, how often it should be done. Um, and those are all things that we're very um, willing and able to help out with directly, either through our platform or directly, you know, with us. All right, if there's nothing else, then we will end the event. Thank you again for joining us and we hope to see you on the platform.